G'day folks, whether you already have your new DJI Neo Mini drone or if you have yours on the way soon, you're going to need a compact case for transporting it along with all of its accessories. And no, you're not watching air photography right now. I just wanted to do a little shout out to Sean and refer you to watch some of his tutorials and his videos. He does a great job and uh, just wanted to kind of give a little homage to Sean. And so check him out. I'll put a link in the video description. I even have my own little air photography uh, Hobby Lobby plant over here in the corner for this overhead product review. So this is a tech pouch. This is actually marketed for the Osmo Pocket 3 or the Action 3 or action cameras or all kinds of tech. It's not marketed for the Neo. So, but it works great for the Neo. I got this right when I got my DJI Neo and it holds everything that you need uh, to store and keep your Neo and its accessories. It's about $35 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description. It comes under two different brand names, Start RC and Tomat. The link in the video description is for Tomat. This is the Start RC version. They are the exact same. They just have a little bit of a different branding here. So I think they are owned by the same parent company, but it is the same tech pouch. So it's a waterproof pouch. It's 900D polyester material. So you know, if you happen to leave it out in the rain or get some moisture on it or whatever, you're not going to worry about getting anything wet inside. The um, handle on the back is pretty sturdy. It's stitched very well. It's got a couple of little loops on each end too. If you want to store it on your backpack and carry it with you or on your belt loop or whatever, it does come with a little carabiner right here, but I would just throw that in the garbage and get a, a more robust carabiner because that one seems pretty cheap. But uh, but otherwise, this thing is awesome. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. When you open this up and you fan this out, look at this, you guys. Look at all the different compartments in here. There's like seven or eight different places to store items. And uh, yeah, it's just great. So let's go through it. You got two large pouches here on each end on the back side and the front side of it. There's two large pouches. Each of those pouches have a zippered pouch as well. So this one has a zippered pouch that goes all the way to the bottom. So you can store a lot of different things in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and start throwing stuff in here. Let's put those, let's put these in the middle compartment. I'll get to that in a second. This is the other pouch on the large pouch on the back side, And this has a smaller zippered area for storing things in there as well. And then on each, uh, on either side of the large pouches, there's a couple of smaller areas that are magnetically closed. So those are nice. And then on the middle side, it has a medium sized pouch with another zippered pouch in there. So you can store, like I said, everything you need. You can put your propellers in there, your USB-C cable, your screwdriver, whatever else you need to put in there. And then how I do this, and you can do this however you want, but I found it best to, um, to store the Neo in the front side of it, facing down. Make sure you have your gimbal guard on there. Uh, you don't want to wreck your camera lens. You put that face down, then you put your power bank with your batteries okay, right next to that. Okay, And then if you have the RCN2 or the RCN3 controller, that'll fit in here as well. Just so you're aware, the RC2 does not fit in this tech pouch. Uh, it's actually too high. It's too tall, so it does not fit in there. And then if you also, if you have the FPV3 controller, that does not fit either. So only, as far as controllers go, only the RCN2 or the RCN3 or your phone will fit in this pouch. So I don't normally use the controller. I use my phone to fly the Neo or I don't even use that at all. But once you get everything packed in there and you have a little more room, but this is pretty much it right here because you'll see once you try to close it, sometimes if you have too much stuff in here, you're not gonna be able to close it. But if everything is positioned correctly, it zips right up and everything is in there perfectly. Now, if it's if you find it to be a struggle to close that zipper, you might want to reposition uh, a couple of things to make sure that you're not putting any stress on this zipper. Because as I mentioned, this is a budget option, so it's not professionally made. The stitching is going to be, you know, not as good as something that's going to be more expensive, but it does work really well uh, for keeping everything in there. So. Yeah, just an option for you guys. Really quick video today. I wanted to show you this thing because it has worked great for me. I've used it since I've gotten my Neo, like I said. And uh, and I know there really isn't anything out there right now for the Neo. If you search DJI Neo storage cases, you're not gonna find anything yet just because I think we don't really have them available in the United States yet. But we're gonna see more soon. But if you needed something now, uh, this is a great option for you. Like I said, I'll have a link in the video description 
If you want to check it out and learn more about it, you can learn more details, or you can just ask me in the comments and I'll answer the questions to the best of my ability. Be sure to check out Sean's channel, Air Photography. I'll put a link for his channel down there in the description as well. Hit that thumbs up if I gave you anything of value today. I really appreciate that. It really helps videos like this get out there and show other people what this channel is all about. Subscribe if you want to become a member of the community. Really appreciate it. Also follow me on social media, 51 Drones on all platforms. I'd love to visit with you over there and get some bonus content that you're not going to see here on the channel. Thanks for watching today, everyone. Have a great day. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.